tonight on The Profit. Hey. Two years ago, I bought an interest in Mr. Green Tea Ice Cream. Well, this is actually amazing. Good. Mm -hmm. And while we've been able to increase sales by nearly 100%. Is that your car? That's my car. Success has spawned a whole new set of challenges. The entire future of the brand is based off of my vision. That's something I'm not so sure of, Mike. The owner's son is pushing for a piece of the pie. I think 7 to 10% would be more than fair. But his cavalier attitude isn't helping his case. Who cares about a $10,000 upfront cost? For I think we all kind of care about the $10,000. And now, a family feud is brewing in the business. What's important to me is the most important thing. They don't make any sense. You're making stories up. If I can't help this young man mature as a leader, don't be frustrated. I'm very frustrated. And get both sides back on the same page? Gee, if we yeah, bought, I got if this. We I, bought, I, I, you I got, got it? OK. Mr. Green Tea's growth could melt away. If Michael told you that he was going to leave, what would you say to him? I guess I'd ask him when he's leaving. Good morning. Look how beautiful that is. So remind me, when I met you guys, there was ginger, red bean, and green tea. So these are the originals. Original three. And then Fortune Cookie launched, Black That's Sesame the launched, and then Chai Latte. Over the last year, Michael's been responsible to launch the pint business, and he's been developing a lot of the flavors. But I was never consulted on any of them. My guess is, neither were the customers. I have black sesame. This has a really strange aftertaste. Never put black in the word in anything with food. How has this done in food service? This is not a food service item. This Why not? Have you introduced that to them? No. Because the restaurants provide some level of feedback. If for some reason this doesn't work out, mm -hmm. how much money between raw ingredients, packaging, and slotting fees? If it ended today? It failed, failed. Minimum $70,000. So one mistake could be a $70,000 disaster. That's a failure. I'm worried that we're getting sloppy. I love it here. I love Mr. Green Tea, but I would like to have a piece of the pie. You always say, you know, you're an employee of Mr. Green Tea. And I am, but I don't think I work like one. You know, the employees, 5 o'clock hits, and they go home. They, you know, spend time with their friends and their family, and I don't do that. You know, it's 24 hours. Tell me exactly what you want. I think 7 to 10 percent ownership of the business would be more than fair. And if he said to you, no, I'm not comfortable doing that, then I guess we're back at keeping my ear to the ground for potential other options, I guess. I've never thought of you from the day I met you as an employee here. I thought of you as the future of the business. I would tell you to be patient. Yeah. We have to do it in a way that's got a plan behind it, mm -hmm. you know? Who wants to try some ice cream? We're going to go to ShopRite today, and we're going to get feedback, whether they like it or not. This is ginger. That's my favorite. It's quite good. Good? You like it? It's it pretty good. Really good. <laughs> that is pretty good. I don't like the black one. Okay. You don't like the black sesame? Okay. What didn't you like about it? It tasted disgusting. <laughs> it tasted disgusting? Black Sesame got some harsh reviews. And if they would have gotten some feedback in advance, they would have saved themselves $70,000. One of the best things that happened at ShopRite is seeing the positive feedback about the quality of the ice cream. But we need to put a process in place that forces us to do research and development on new flavors. Richie, good doing? to see you. Good to see you. Michael. Nice to see you. Jack Marcus, Marcus. nice to meet you. He's our man here. One of the things that I wanted to accomplish is to improve our margins because the dairy, the cream that goes into the ice cream, is the single most expensive item. We fill the tote. So does it come to you like this? Exactly yep. like this. It's like a waterbed. What does this cost? Today, 2100 yeah. Last week, 2800 Typically, our margins are between $1.50 a gallon to $3 on a gallon. And it depends on how large the customer is. If we're, we're assuming ahead, we should be. If we bought, got if we bought, I, 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 You got it? OK. It's, if these slots turn over the way we're expecting them to at our projections, we're going to have a 40% increase. Hopefully, we'll be purchasing 100,000 gallons next year. As of right now, we're at 750. Could you drop your price if we make a volume commitment by a dollar a gallon? When your volume gets to a certain level, yes. So if we make a commit to 100,000 gallons next year, can we do this? Yes. You know, you go down to Mexico, wherever you get the, the uh, mango, mango yeah. and they put on a little cayenne pepper and a little lime juice. It had me start thinking. Okay. So I got some stuff. All right, so spice. Mango, lime. You know you're having fun, Rich. 
Oh, I love doing this. This is like, brings me back to the roots. Phase one of the focus group. Start with your employees. Grab a spoon. Late heat. Late heat in the back of your throat a little bit, but Yeah, I, I feel it. Would you buy that? I buy it. You buy it? Of course. Box it up, and we're going to take this to do some testing. Tonight, we're going to 10th Avenue Burrito, a food service customer of Mr. Green Tea. They currently only buy one flavor, but I want to give them a sample of our new spicy mango. Hey, Brian. How are What's you? Up? You know Marcus? Yeah. Brian, I'm Marcus. Marcus. Nice to see you. Hey, Michael. Hello. Hey. You know us? What we brought here today was just a few of the products that I think might work with your menu, and then one, like I said, that we specifically tailored for you. So down in Miami or in, or, or I guess maybe Mexico, they just cut the mango open, put cayenne pepper on it, and squeeze a lime on it. Yeah? So yeah. give that a try. Yeah. yeah, so it's a little soft, because like I said, that was made today. There's a little kick at the end. There it is. Yeah. That's great. It's real subtle, too. Would you guys like to try some mango ice cream samples? Free samples. Would you guys like to try some ice cream? I want to see when the flavor hits you. Would you like to try some mango ice cream? Good. Would you order that? I would. Yeah. Would you buy it at a grocery store? Absolutely. So we had, we had people sample the mango lime. Great responses. I know they're so, loving it. They're, they're, they're chewing they're, away they're, over they're, there. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Brian, would you consider putting the mango lime cayenne on your, uh, absolutely. On your menu? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Great. I think it'd be That's a nice awesome. compliment. Yeah. You like absolutely. that? Yeah, I love it. I think I, I like I said, man, I think it's a <laughs> I think it's a nice clean flavor. I think it, I think it's perfect. I'm taking Richard and Michael to 16 Handles, one of this country's largest frozen yogurt chains. The reason that the company is named 16 Handles is that there are literally 16 different flavors in every one of their stores. What I'm asking for here today is for them to dedicate one of their handles to Mr. Green Tea Ice Cream. How are you? Good to see you. Good seeing you. Hi, I'm Mike. Mike Solomon. Nice to meet you, Solomon. The goal behind this exercise is to have Richard see Michael perform in a pitch environment. It's about demonstrating that he's capable of delivering additional value to the company without me or his father. Mr. Green Tea, for over 45 years, has been serving 8 million servings a year in Manhattan alone of our ice cream. So we have quite a large customer base. We want to bring that customer base into your stores, and we want to reverse engineer some of our more popular flavors and get that flavor signature into your yogurt. We don't want to hide that it's yogurt, because obviously yogurt has a very different tart flavor compared to traditional ice cream. So we want to kind of combine the best of both worlds. The idea that we have is to take one of your handles in each of your stores and make it a, a Mr. Green Tea flavor of the month, where each month it's a, it's a new, unique flavor. We've never actually talked to anybody about giving up one of our handles before. Mm -hmm. So it's... Scary thing. It's a little scary. Types of flavors we'd be looking for, like the gingers, we haven't played in that realm, so that really excites us. One of the things that's important for us at 16 Handles is that we lead with the best taste. We have a portfolio of 15 flavors and developing more that we have decades of data on. The most important aspect of it, obviously, is quality. My grandfather, my father, founded the company on, on those principles. There are certainly no higher quality alternatives. Who wants to try ginger? That's pretty tasty. It's good. It's true to flavor. We import ginger root from Australia. Right. You, you oh like chai. God. This is no, spot on, too. Oh, this tastes like exactly like chai. This one excites me because this is a flavor that we've tried in the past Try that we couldn't latte. get right. I put this in the handles. It's obvious to me that 16 Handles is really enjoying the flavor and the quality of the product, but we haven't gotten the sale yet. That's what we came here to do. Are you guys comfortable moving forward, launching a, a cooperative arrangement with one handle? These are new flavors that our customers uh, would get excited over. That's a yes. Okay. Yes? Yes. Awesome. Thank you guys very much. For, thank you for the thank opportunity. You. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. It's time to sit down with the family and discuss the idea of Michael having equity in the company. Maybe not give him the whole thing, but give him an opportunity to sort of feel like he's getting a seat at the table. What I'm proposing is that you're given 5% of the business. Okay. And that you vest 1% a year based on your performance and you know everybody's sort of agreeing that things are going the right way. Your dad was not in favor of this equity plan. And I wore him down over time mm -hmm. only because I do believe that you have worked and have earned something. 
How do you feel about that, this proposal? I think, I think it's fair. Did he earn it? Yes, I, I, I think so. You want to shake his hand? Yeah, absolutely. I own a multi-million dollar company. Congratulations, buddy. Ooh, thank you. Congratulations, you've earned it. It's exciting. This is a huge step for Michael. Him having equity in the company should only make him hungrier and more ambitious for the future. I'm excited for what's going to happen in the business, but I'm more excited to see Michael's growth. So you're an owner now. The one thing that he should know for sure, I'm going to continue to push him. <laughs>